Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and I will be doing this read here. It looks really interesting. Actually, it looks really good. I had to re I had to re-record this thing. Um, I always hate that when I have to redo it, but <laughs> I, I left a couple of things out. I, I, I get into my mind when I start doing these things, and I got to kind of like, I can't explain it. But anyway, <laughs> the first dream we got here is uh, Menez, okay? So now Menez is talking about uh, going within, uh, going deep within. Um, it's kind of like the hermit card. Maybe you're thinking about a partner or a partnership. Maybe you're thinking of someone. Uh, maybe maybe you're maybe you're uh, spending time alone with someone you trust. Yeah, for some of you, you could be spending some time alone with with someone you trust. All right. And then for some of you others, you may be uh, spending time alone thinking about taking a trip somewhere, making some sort of a travel plan, all right? But now, this particular reading here, Pisces, is really deep. It's very, very spiritual, and that's kind of like why I had to re-record it, because I'm seeing so many uh, different aspects of this. I mean, I'm kind of like feeling... I can't really explain it, but, um, yeah. And the second rune you have here uh, is Awas. Now, this is the death rune. And Pisces, you, you have it twice right here, twice in a row. Bam, bam, death, death. You got the death card, death. You got the death card, you got the death three times. Okay? So something major is going on. And I'm not talking about little. This is major. This is like, uh, this is a major, major transformation of some sort, okay? Because something has ended. Some way of life has ended. Something has come to a start and something is starting, all right? Something wonderful is starting. Something is starting that is, it, you don't even know what it is yet, Pisces, because you have Pertho here. Now, Pertho is a rune of the unknown, all right? So something unknown is coming to you, and something is about ready to end if it already hasn't, and something new is about to start. It's very, very spiritual, like I said, because I see temperance. And that's an angel. See the angel up here? So your angel guides are with you right now, Pisces. I, I feel that really strong. It's right next to the Ace of Wands, which is a new opportunity. New opportunities coming in. Very lucrative uh, opportunities uh, that, can, that can bring you money and other prosperous things. It's coming into focus now, Pisces. You have Pertho, like I was talking about. Pertho is talking about something unknown, but it's going to come to light. You have the sun right here. All right, so this is going to come to light, and it's going to be very victorious. You're going to come out ahead on this, Pisces. And if you're wondering whether to to move forward, um, yes, spirit is saying to move forward. And if you have a question as to whether or not a yes or no question, with the Ace of Wands, it's saying yes. All right. So this unknown is coming uh, to light. All right. Now, I feel that this is going to be coming into you very quickly. Um, even though I do see Isa here, Isa is ice, and Isa kind of is like slow moving energy. But in this instance, I, I'm not really feeling that, and I'm feeling that this is more of in the past as far as slow energy goes. 
uh, and I'm also feeling that with Isa, it's like saying to continue on and continue pushing forward. Okay, and do not give up and continue to push forward because your hard work is going to pay off. See, so look at you have Jarrah right here. All right. So your hard work is, is going to pay off. Yeah. This is also balance. So Jarrah is talking about balance. Just like temperance. See the angel? He has one foot on the ground and one foot in the water. And it looks like he's mixing two cups together. So maybe some of you are going to meet someone. Some of you, I think, are going to meet someone, too. With Ewas right here like this, I think somebody, you're going to meet somebody, too. All right? Now, I pulled one of these angel cards out here, Pisces, and uh, this one here is spe says spiritual growth. And we all know what that is, you know, spiritual growth. And that's what we're kind of going through right now. And that's kind of like what I'm, like, trying to explain to you. I can't really honestly explain to you you know uh, the type of spirituality type of growth that I feel I mean it's like I can see it the way the sun hits the ground I can't really explain it it was like I was out walking the dog this morning and I felt like the way the sun was hitting the ground it reminded me of, of like when I was four years old or something I mean just the way it looked it just I can't really describe it but this is a very powerful card. It's saying uh, your growth and understanding are unfolding at an incredible rate, and you feel more connected than ever to your soul, gifts, and purpose. And so, and your angels are also encouraging you to keep up your good work and continue expanding your knowledge and experience and spiritual connection. So that's basically what's going on with us here Pisces and I can boy I can feel that coming on I can I've been feeling that felt that hardcore this morning and then I pulled um, one of these uh, Oracle cards here the uh, the mystical shaman Oracle cards and we got the corn and that's an awesome card, Pisces. This is talking about abundance. And I'm going to read what it says here um, because it's so awesome. <laughs> you planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. See, look at that, Jarrah. Even in moments when you're losing faith, you continued. Now, your spirit, now the spirit of the corn comes to honor and show you a bountiful harvest. This is a time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust. Whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity. You are so blessed when this symbol appears. Don't forget to share your good fortune. I mean, <laughs> you can't go wrong with that there, Pisces. That's a good one. All right. And then I pulled a moonology card and this one here says, Last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. All right, Pisces? All right, then, you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. Bye for now.